Hey there, welcome back to Coding Stuff. So in this video, we'll be creating Truth and Dare game application, and uh, we'll be creating application like this. Here we'll have an image view and one button. So if I click on this spin bottle button, image will spin, and we'll be using rotate animation for this button to spin. And also in the last tutorial, we have created this to do application using SQLite database. So if you want to watch that playlist, I'll link in the description box. You can check it out. So that's it. Now we'll just create a new application and start creating our game. So I have created one empty project here. First, I will just copy one image. So I'll select this and I'll paste it in our drawable folder. So resource drawable and you will paste it. Okay, then I will add this image view here and we'll select this bottle and we'll set its width and height to the width will be 49 dp and let's set its height to the 180 dp so 180 dp okay and I will just put it in the center and then horizontal in parent constraints and then we'll add one button and constraint it to horizontal in parent and to the bottom one okay and i will just change the text of this button to spin the bottle okay now i will just copy some colors from adobe xd so this one in our values colors color primary will be this and then I will select this button color and I will paste it in color primary dark cool so now we'll set background for layout so background and this will be color primary and for this button we'll create one shape so click on drawable new drawable resource file We'll name it as button shape and we'll change the selector to the shape and we'll add some corners so corners will be radius of let's say 20 dp and then we'll add solid color so that will be color primary dark that's it now we'll just set background of our button shape over here so background and button shape okay and we'll change the width to let's say 183 dp and height to the 49 dp or let's say 40 dp cool okay and now we'll change the text color to the white one so text color we'll select white so hash fff and let's increase it to 193 uh, let's just uh, text all caps will set to the false okay so it looks cool now we'll uh, go to styles and we'll change this dark action bar to no action bar cool and let's initialize our widgets in our main activity so private image view we'll name it as m image view and then we'll create one random number so private random m random number and equals to new random okay and also we have to create one int variable so private int last direction we'll name it cool so over here we'll just uh, collect the id of m image view so m image view equals to find view by id r dot id dot image view and then we'll create button so final button we'll name it as m button equals to find view by id r dot id dot button Okay. 
so now we'll add on click listener to our m button so m button dot set on click listener new on click listener okay over here uh, we have to create uh, some variables so first we'll collect the random number in our variable that will be int new direction equals to uh, random sorry m random number dot next int and here we have to pass a boundary so we'll pass 3600 and we'll just add it with 360 means it will complete at least one circle round okay then we have to create some pivot variables so int pivot x uh, this will be let me explain you what is pivot okay so you can see this button uh, sorry bottle and if I want to rotate it from this uh, point so this will be pivot of this bottle and if I want to rotate it from the center so this will be the pivot so we want to rotate this bottle from the center so we'll set the pivot as a center so pivot from x axis will be m image view dot get width and divided by 2 that's it uh, sorry we should make it in the float so we'll write float and we have to typecast it float okay then we'll create float pivot y typecasting float then m image view dot get height divide by 2 that's it we'll create one animation so animation will name it as a rotate equals to new rotate animation and in this rotate animation we have to pass four parameters so first will be the starting position so we'll pass a last direction and then the new directions means the end point of our rotation and then we have to pass pivot x and pivot y and then we have to set some properties to our rotate so set duration and we'll pass it pass here two seconds so 2000 milliseconds and then rotate dot set fill after and here we'll pass true and then uh, we'll just set the rotation to our image view so m image view dot start animation and here we'll pass rotate so that's it now we'll check our app is working or not so i'll click on this run button so so now if I click on the spin bottle, you can see the bottle is spinning. Uh, but now uh, just notice one thing. Uh, this bottle is, uh, bottle's end point is this. But if I click on this spin bottle, it will start from the uh, starting point. You can see it again. So we have to fix that issue. Just one line of code. We, what can we do? We just after this uh, set after filter we'll set our last direction as a new direction so last direction equals to new direction means so end point is the first direction so it will start the animation from the that end point okay and also we have to uh, let me check, let me show you how it looks now so it stops here and if i click on the spin model it will again rotate from that position okay thing you can notice uh, this button is in animation mode but still I can click on this spin bottle button uh, I don't want this I want uh, this button to be disabled when this bottle in the animation mode and I want to make it enable again if this button uh, stop the animation so for that uh, just after this we'll use this rotate and set animation listener and new animation listener okay so on animation start we have to just disable the button so m button dot set enable this will be false and on animation end we just have to enable the button again so m button dot set enable and we'll pass here true so that's it now we'll click on run button again So now you can see if I if I'm clicking on this button, it's not working because it is disabled. And now if I click on this button, it is working. 
so that's it for this tutorial and make sure you subscribe to the channel for upcoming tutorials and thank you for watching